What up everyone, it's MOF410, giving you some forest gameplay. Today I'm going to run you through our waterfront village. This is, uh, if some of you have watched the New Structures Part 1 video, you've already seen the church and those things. I've added to this and I have completed the tower, so I'm just going to run you through our little waterfront village here. So this is my house, have a nice little patio built off the back with some water. Uh, pretty simple. I haven't done all the decorating yet. Just trying to get structures built. So you already saw the back patio. This is the rooftop deck. Probably going to uh, change this up. I don't. I like the way the rock looks from the bottom, but I don't like the way you look over it. Over on this side, we have our other structure. On this side, this one does not have a patio, but does have this awesome window. Look at that view. You can see the tower up there in the distance as well as the other side of our village. Now we're going to have two access points. I guess I'll take you across this one first, the original bridge. This is going to take you right into our church here. It's also where I meet my family, my wife, my dog, and my son. Uh, Next to the church, we have, oh, of course you saw in the other video, but we have our cross and our coffin here, in case you ever need to bury anyone. Um, this is our garage shelter type of deal, as you can see, got a unique shape to it, and it's got completely separate first and second floors. Probably going to make this a storage locker, maybe a whole bunch of shelves in there for soda and stuff. We also, because of the view and uh, the tight property here, gave just about everything we could a, a rooftop deck here. So these little benches are a nice place to sit and see the sun setting over there on our village. Uh, let's take you down a couple more houses to see. <clears throat> Next to the church here, this is going to be our dining hall. Nice little porch, table, a couple lights. Looks really good in here once you get this lit too. Nice big window out there. We do have a uh, patio on top of the dining hall as well. Probably going to put patio seating up here. Pretty cool view. Let's go under our coaster. I'll show you that in a minute. This is the, the meat shack. We're starting our trophy wall here. And inside is going to be our meat racks. One, two, three. As well as our skin racks, which are getting pretty full. Um, typical fashion, we did put the stairs here on the left up to this patio. Really cool view as well. Now, over here is going to be our loading dock and our second bridge. Uh, the raft isn't here right now. We do have a raft to uh, load up our supplies here. As you can see, we've got some rocks, some sticks, and logs. Uh, the loading dock does take us to our second bridge, which is also lit. It takes you over to the north side of the village here. Now, at night, you can see I really like the way the lights look. However, the lights on the uh, meat shack take a while to load in, but yeah, that looks cool there. That log, I'm not sure how it got there or how to get it down. It's kind of annoying, but... Um, let's take you guys up. Final things to show you is going to be the roller coaster and the tower. So, let's go show you those two and... Uh, We'll end the video there. Oh, load. As you can see, we've cleared quite a bit of trees out of here. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the tower. As you can see, I have lights going all the way up. It was a resource monster to build. I think it took three days in the game of not stop working. To get this thing built let's take you up to the top as you can see it took another couple days worth of getting skulls to finish off these lights but i really think it makes it look good that's a little light for you while you're up here but 
pretty much anywhere you are on the map, once you get close to it, you can see this uh, lit tower structure. It's very intimidating. I love it. Now, I have to build my glider and stick it up here. I haven't done so yet, but I want to show you. I mean, look at this. Now you'll see right there, there's our roller coaster. Take you down so we can check that out real quick. The uh, turtle shell, the log coaster, whatever you want to call it, I am not pleased with how high it can go. You know, they make this tower and I'm thinking, cool, I can make like a sweet spiral. Uh, coaster. This is as high off the ground as I could get it. So in order to get it up further, we're going to have to get creative with building big giant platforms. And I just wasn't ready to get into the grind just yet of doing all that. So to finish this, we'll take down our coaster back to our Riverside Village. Like, comment, uh, tell me what you're thinking for decorations on the inside. I have a lot of them to do. I've already done the dining hall and the meat shack and one house but I want to know what other ideas you guys have also let me know if you want me to do a video on custom building um, the downside to custom building is you do have to make a bed uh, in order to save and sleep there but the plus side is you can do some cool things like patios and, and all that stuff so let's do it